So after my second child was born, um, it was kind of hard being uh, financially because it was either we will go into debt trying to find childcare or we're going to go in debt being at home. Um, I ended up staying home for about a year and a half. That's about all we could financially handle and mentally handle. Uh, I did go back just part time trying to get something, but finding childcare that wasn't breaking the bank and quality childcare and, and somebody that we trusted was difficult for us. Um, as an educator, we've learned that kids who are not performing developmentally at their level by third grade, they'll never catch up. And I would hate for that to be my kids, especially as an educator, that I am their advocate. And this is important to us. This is, it's, imp it's not for us, it's for our children. So once we found out we um, were going to be able to qualify for some assistance, it was a huge relief for us, um, both financially, mentally, um, emotionally. Uh, like I've said, you know, it's important for us to be, for them to be here and getting that education. Um, you know, we know a lot of people aren't as lucky, and uh, it, it it just it. I can't ex express how much relief I got, and especially that I was able to go back to school with Start Young. Um, that added a little stress, but <laughs> it's taken a lot more stress off. I've always wanted to go, go back to school. Uh, I didn't take advantage of my opportunities when I didn't have kids, but now they are pushing me to do more, um, and also, I made a promise to my mom who passed away a few years ago that I would go back and finish. So <laughs> it's a huge relief to me that I can do it without stressing even more about the financial part of it. I do feel like if we didn't get the assistance through um, the Family Conservancy, that eventually I probably would have said, both my husband and I, that it's time to to pull the boys out um, just because we probably wouldn't be able to do it financially. I feel like it gives us a um, better quality of life without having to stress, without having to sacrifice one thing for the other. So one of our goals that we sat down and put in place was um, buying a home. And we were able to do that as of June 1st. We are homeowners that we're really excited about. <laughs> We, we couldn't be any happier with what we were able to do with the help of you guys. We really did not think we would have bought a house, especially during a pandemic. Um, I mean, we are eternally grateful. My husband and I are very grateful. Um, like I said, when I, I had told my husband about this, he was like, yeah, go for it. <laughs> Um, so I just want to let you guys know that we are eternally grateful for everything.